Hello, this is the latest build for the game we've been working on for the last few months. I'll give you a brief sum summary. It's a multiplayer arena game where you use your swords to strike enemies into score zones or other players. Uh, this is the latest build I'm showing you, but I'm not really here to show you this. This is fairly feature complete with regards to our first public uh, release, a free demo we're throwing out at the end of the month. Um, now I'm more here to talk to you about the prototype that came before it and our process to getting there. Basically, uh, the th three or four months um, that we've been putting into this game on silence. Hold on, I'll load up that prototype now. Sorry if I'm booking it a bit, but uh, I'm looking to get this done in under five minutes and live. <laughs> um, this is the first prototype. It's incredibly rudimentary. It the technical term, uh, the technical term would be um, minimum viable product, I guess. But the main menu has two buttons, and the game itself has two inputs: move around and swing your sword. Comsa. You hit it again. It's just about striking enemies out, but this time it's about maintaining a high score. Now, when I showed this to, uh, this was done for Little Dare 31. The theme was entire game on one screen. Uh, so two days, hence why it's so simple, but when I showed this to my lead designer, she said to me, Tom, you should totally add free players to that, and I was like, yeah, I should totally add free players to that. Uh, what we ended up with was this simple little build. All the all these players are controlled by a keyboard for, uh, in this version, unfortunately, but uh, we did actually get four players testing, um, testing this build um, with different controllers, and the results were... Pretty crazy, to say the least. We liked where the game was going, so we kept go so so we kept pushing it. We added uh, we added a lot of balancing features, uh, mostly balancing and pacing features. So uh, let me show you what I mean. Stuff like um, when this starts up, you'll notice there's a round timer at the start. This was go this wasn't there originally. Now, uh, rather than slog out over two minutes, it took people surprisingly long to realize what they had to do and what they had to do to win. Normally they only figured it out at the end of the game, which was originally like two minutes. So by making the rounds 20 seconds each and having a trophy system, much like Towerfall Ascension, people now learn the rules of the game and how to win within 20 seconds, and pacing can be much more controlled per wave, it's just much nicer. On top of that we also have um, an actual uh, actual menus now compared to the two button setup we had before. Uh, so once we get past the two, uh, nice title screen, you can choose your per uh, choose your player, change your color and your icon, and even give yourself a name. Today I shall be mm, yay. Um, but we didn't need that. Uh, oh, we didn't need that. Uh, is the key thing. None of this was necessary in the original prototype. I'm not really preaching here, it's less uh, what you should do and more just how we do, but if you want to take a lesson out, out of it, take that I guess. I'm going to leave you with some true blue multiplayer action so you can see what the game actually looks like in the wild. Uh, the original prototype is still available on the Ludum Dare site if you really want to give it a crack, but um, this version of the game, the latest, is uh, currently up for voting on green lights, so if you like what you see, maybe go give that a look.